Hey yo, check this out, man. It's the infamous Mob Deep. You know what I mean? Prodigy right here, the H and I C. You know what I mean? I'm here for you all day, man. Putting out nothing but fire. And this is G4. When we came back off of the, like the Blood Money and Massacre tour with 50, I basically went back in the studio, started wrapping up the H and I C2 project, and um, I caught the case along the way. I caught a case, you know what I mean? Where the police in New York, you know what I mean? They uh, followed me, followed my car, basically profiled me, you know what I mean, by following me, because I ain't even do anything illegal for them to follow me, you know what I mean? So they followed my car and they, they saw me make a U-turn. So they all pull up on my car like two, three cars deep, you know what I mean, out of nowhere, you know what I mean? After I was already in a parking spot. So they ran up on my car, they illegally searched my car, and they, that means they searched without asking, you know what I'm saying, they didn't have a warrant. They searched my car, opened up boxes, and then they found a weapon in my car, you know what I mean? So. Me and Alchemist got locked up, you know what I mean? And while I was in there, they tried to get me to set up 50. They pulled me out my cell, took me to a back room, you know what I mean? And the arresting officers, they was like, yo, look, we'll let you walk right now. We'll forget about the guns, forget about everything. If you be willing to work with us, maybe, you know, give us some information on 50 Cent. Like, I'm like, oh, wow, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, this is crazy right now, you know what I mean? I was like, I wanted to hear more. So I just kept asking for cigarettes. I was like, can I get another cigarette? Act like I was gonna talk, so that's just so I can hear more. And he was like, yo, maybe if you just plant, put a gun in his car, put some drugs in his car, or set up a buying bus where he buy drugs off you, does he use drugs? I'm like, yo, these dudes is ill, you know what I mean? So they kept trying that, so I'm like, well, I'm like, nah, I'm not with that. So when I get bailed out, I go straight to G on it, I tell 50, I say, yo, look, you better be careful. Who you let in your car? Who you let in your house, who you let in the office, everybody around you, you gotta be careful because they trying to set you up, son. They trying to use somebody around you to set you up. You like, oh, I right. you like, yo, good looking, you know what I mean? So I just been real vocal about it, telling people about it, because people need to know what's going on out here. We gotta protect ourselves from from um, you know, cops that do things like this. Cause not all cops are um crooked, you know what I mean? But you there is a circle of cops that's doing foul things, you know what I mean? And I took my case to trial because it was a legal search, you know what I mean? And profiling, so I'm like, yeah, I'm taking this to trial, I'm beating this, you know what I mean? It's not the first time I, I had this type of case, you know what I mean? I got a little record, I admit, you know what I mean? So I get to the court and uh, in front of the grand jury, the cop gets on the stand and he says that I didn't put my hands up when he told me to, that he said he see me moving towards the box, putting things in the box. So it basically destroyed my legal search case and what he, the lies that he said, after, with his hand on the Bible, swearing to tell the truth, the whole truth, telling lies to the grand jury and everybody that was in the court. By him telling those lies, it gave him probable cause to search my car, you know what I'm saying? And there's a whole bunch of other crooked stuff in that case, but it forced me to take a plea bargain for three and a half years, you know what I mean? Because I was facing up to 15 because of my record, you know what I mean? So it forced me to take the plea bargain because it didn't, I see, when the cops started lying, I saw where the case was going and it wasn't worth fighting it, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew I was going to lose. Once you got cops lying, it's, you know what I mean? So I got to do three and a half years right now. Um, February 13th, I go in. And I doubt I have to do the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? I'll probably do short time, you know what I'm saying? But since I caught the case and I realized I got to go in, you know, I've been going extra hard, making sure the song is extra good because this album gotta be my voice while I'm gone. I'm not gonna be able to do radio. I'm not gonna be able to do certain things except for the things I'm doing now while I'm home. So the album gotta be strong enough to be my voice. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely made sure I made that happen. It's, it's nothing, man. We are gonna get through this. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm gonna turn it into something positive, like for real. Like cause when I go inside, I'm not gonna be smoking. I'm not gonna be drinking. I'm gonna clean my mind, my body out. I'm not, I'm not doing none of that no more. I'm putting that all in my past. You know what I'm saying? I'm 33 now. You know what I mean? So I just feel like this is meant to be. It's meant for me to go to jail, clean myself out. I'm gonna be a stronger, better person when I come home. And I'm gonna just hit the road. Tour the album now, you know what I mean? Go overseas, America. Just, the world need to hear this music because I got a message to deliver in my music. I'm not just saying your average things, you know what I'm saying? I'm really bringing something to the table, you know what I mean? Like, I'm making a statement with myself by telling people that I don't smoke no more by showing them by example, you know what I mean? That I don't smoke no more, that I'm doing this and I'm putting this kind of information in my music. So somebody else could be like, yeah, right, I like what P doing. I want maybe I could do that too with P doing it, you know what I'm saying? Cause I, I'm definitely could reach a circle of people that a lot of rappers can't reach. Like we in the hood for real. You know what I mean? We reach the hood, you know what I mean? Well, G4.
Fall, PS3, your Xbox, you hear my songs on Grand Theft Auto. They got me locked in a cage, but it's ill, I'm still on your TV screen.